We are living in a fossil fuel addicted society. And if we really want to change that, we need to be critical. We need to mobilize with thousands of people. We need to dare to open our eyes and look the problem in the eyes and be brave enough to imagine a different world. For way too long, we all built a society without thinking about what we were doing. And the pillars of the system that our society is built on are completely broken. And all of us are to blame for that. It's not just the media, it's not just the people, it's not just politicians. We all are part of the puzzle. And that is why we are all required to work together to solve this mess. For me as an activist, the biggest solution that I see is to mobilize with millions of people all around the world because we do have the power to change the system. And so if we realize that the power is with the people and we are able to talk to our politicians, to change the way narratives are built up in the media, to change what our society is built on, we can change the entire world. But the first step is to critically think about this, to look it in the eyes and to mobilize all together. Many people that I know are not activists because they feel extremely powerless. But we are all a part of the puzzle and we are all able to inspire our neighborhoods, our friends, our families. And in this way we can create an entire snowball effect that changes the world. The most important thing for our politicians to realize is that it is not about policies, it's not about money, it's not about greed. It's about love. It's about love for each other, it's about love for this planet and it's about feeling enough love to be able and to want and to desire to fight for another world. What gives me hope is to realize that we are not only trying to fix a problem or trying to not get humanity extinct, we are actually fighting for a better world. And if I talk to people about that instead of the doom scenarios that are circulating everywhere, you see how enthusiastic and brave people can be. We are fighting for a different world, a better world, a sustainable world, a green world. We're not just fixing things, we're improving things. And having that narrative in the, in the back of our mind is what keeps activists going. I think what inspires me is the bravery that I see with my fellow activists, young people that are brave enough to critically think about an entire system, young people that are brave enough to fight an entire system and think about the boxes that we've been put in by a society that clearly does not work anymore. Their bravery to rebel inspires me to keep rebelling. Politicians, I think the biggest question is what are your priorities? Do you care about wealth and profit or do you care about people? You cannot spend millions of euros on agricultural policies and green policies to try and make it look as if you are being ambitious towards the climate crisis, while you keep spending billions of dollars on destructive trade agreements and policies that are literally exploiting planetary boundaries and human rights. We need to all work together and in order to do that, you need to really start questioning what this system is based on on an economic level and where your priorities lay.